So I have a huge bunch of dandelions that I'm going to bring over to the lame yo. She's right here now. Hey girl. Yeah, I'm bringing you some delicious food. Here you go. Doesn't even, oh, she's gonna get up anyway. <laughs> Loads of yummy stuff. And the opportunity of her standing up, the lambs are gonna suckle. So, well, they were gonna suckle. So that's giving her a good dose of vitamins and minerals because she's not out in the field where, I mean, there's stuff he, here, but it's well grazed because she has to be in a confined space and there's no hills, there's no hardship here for her uh, walking. And she likes lying in this section here. And then she goes back to the into the shed at night. Uh, so she can walk in between the areas. So I'm giving her some herbs that are beneficial for her. And you can see she absolutely loves them. And it's not like there isn't loads of grass. There's loads of grass. She's probably just eaten all the dandelions. And they're the most nutritious, beneficial herb growing at the moment. I also will get her some horse chestnut leaves because they're an anti a natural anti-inflammatory. So there we go. So here's some horse chestnut, which is now flowering its candelabra. And the leaves are very useful as anti-inflammatories and the sheep love them, particularly when they are in a bit of pain. So I'm gonna pick a few of these leaves, a few from each branch, not a huge amount, just so that I get a handful. That should be enough. There's cow parsley and the bluebells. It's all beginning to look very beautiful and lush. The horse chestnut boughs go all the way down or boughs down into the cow parsley over there. It's just magnificent. I love it. Look at all that cow parsley. Just so beautiful. Okay, so Lame Yo, who is getting better, is going to eat the horse chestnuts. Yep. She dropped some. Oh, she wants to go in the shade. Here you go, sweetie pie. More. I also have to give her the uh, antibiotics as well. So Lame Yo has come in for the night. She's had her injection and her lambs are making the ring feeder into their bedroom. She just comes in for the night. She can go out if she wants. The gate is open. There's no stopping her from going outside. She just likes to come in and lie down at night. And you like sniffing out milky poos. All of my dogs love sniffing out milky poos. Anyway, that's the yo uh, with the lame, the, the tender foot that we think might be from blackthorn poisoning. <laughs>